cows in the house tonight. Everybody's watching Runner Space Live. Screw you guys, it's July 18th. You watch Runner Space Live. Roll it! Space Live have actually caught a little bit of the musical bug. We put out a rap recap of the Olympic trials. Now we're we're a little late, but you should still go check it out. Here's a few clips from the video, and you can check it out in the link below. Olympic trials in the house tonight. Everybody's running hella fast time. All right, now on to Intermed. Thanks, Matt. Beautiful. Be sure to check it out, everyone. Now, this week we've got a trifecta of awkward videos for you. Why the trifecta, you ask? Well, because there's three different incidents I want to highlight. They all come back to the same guy. Remember when this happened last year at the Monaco Diamond League meet? Awkward video of the week. Och titta där ska ni se. Ah, Jakob, det där hände ju precis bakom ryggen. All right, now here's number two. This happened just a few weeks ago when we were busy covering the U.S. Olympic trials. This is one of the same guys from that fight. It seems like an absurd prank on an absurd mascot until you realize there's a 14-year-old girl beneath the suit. She approaches French runner Maedine Mekisi Benabad just after he won the 300 meter steeplechase at the European Athletic Championship in Helsinki. As she offers a piece of merchandise, he bashes it out of her hand, then shoves her. And number three. This isn't the first time the runner's taken it out on a mascot. During his first European Athletic Championship in Barcelona two years ago, he reportedly asked a mascot to kneel in front of him before pushing it to the ground. What's he got against mascots or the people hiding behind them? Now that's awkward. I mean, in his defense though, he probably couldn't tell it was a 14-year-old girl in the mascot's costume. Based off her size and stature, she could have been anywhere from 13 to 15. So give him a break. It's the Runner Space Rundown. It's a high school rundown. The IAAF World Junior Championships wrapped up this last weekend in Barcelona, Spain. And boy, do we have something to talk about. Bronxville, New York's Mary Kane set a new U.S. high school record in the 1500, running a 4.11.01 to take down Jordan Essay's 2008 mark of 4.14.5. And of course, Team USA always spectacular in the sprint relays. They swept them with the guys and girls teams each winning the 4x1 and the 4x4. In the guys 4x1, they ran a 38.67, just one hundredth of a second off the World Junior record. In the girls 3K steeplechase final, Brianna Nair took fifth bettering her own U.S. high school record set in the prelims, running a 10 flat point seven. Kendall Williams set a U.S. high school record in the heptathlon with a score of 5,578. U.S. high schooler competing for Canada, Sean Barber, took third in the pole vault with a number two all-time U.S. high school mark, 18 feet, two and a half inches. In the girls 5K, Kayla Haddon ran a number two all-time U.S. high school mark of 1550. That was good for fourth overall. And lastly, in the girls 800 final, Neptune, New Jersey's Ajay Wilson brought home the gold, running a personal best number two all-time for U.S. high schoolers, two flat Flat point nine one. It's a college pro rundown. All right, there were some young collegians competing in the World Junior Championships. Among them was Arkansas's Gunnar Nixon, who brought home the gold with a remarkable 8,018 points. Okay, let's go with the seventh stop on the Diamond League, the Aviva London Grand Prix. In the men's 5K, as expected, Mo Farah came out on top, running a 154.6 for his final 800 to get a dominant victory in a 13.06. American Dathan Ritzenine was fifth in a 13.15. In the women's 1500, Mariam Yusuf Jamal got the win in a not so fast 406.78, but still beat out the entire US women's Olympic 1500 meter team. The men's mile was interesting as Nick Willis had a huge lead with one lap to go, but he got eaten up. The race was won by Kenyon Silas Kipagat in a 352. Willis hung on for fourth, and 
and Americans Bernard Legat and Liam Manzano did not have a good day. They were sixth and last, respectively. And also in the men's 100, Tyson Gay got his second straight Diamond League victory, running a 10.03 to beat out fellow American Ryan Bailey. It's the Road Racing Rundown. The Crazy 8 8K in Kingsport, Tennessee. Wow, very fast time by Ethiopia's Tilhun Gasa. He ran a world leading 22.15 to get the win and beat out two time defending champ Shadrach Koskai. Former NCAA star Sam Chalonga was third. At the Napata Sonoma Wine Country App Marathon in California, Ethiopian Tesfai Alameo got the victory for the third year in a row. He lowered his own course record to a 102.37 and won by over four and a half minutes. All right, the Bowerman Athletic Club 5K, which takes place on the Nike World Headquarters in Beaverton, Oregon. The men's race was won by Moroccan Aisa Degogi in a 14.09, and the women's was won by Kerry Dimoff, who finished sixth at the U.S. Olympic Trials in the steeplechase, running a 16.42 here. At the Johnny Cake Jog 5-miler in Painesville, Ohio, Jessica Oderick of Madison, Ohio, broke the 20-year-old course record to get the win with a 26.19.